from Brandy and Ray J, Kendrick Lamar and Baby Keem, family connections and music have always been a thing. Although most fans don't realize some of our favorite artists are actually related, having more than one superstar in the family sounds like success. The roots on these family trees are strong and bear a lot of mega celebrity fruit. Monica Denise Arnold, known by her moniker, Monica, is a skillful vocalist, songwriter, and record producer. Monica rose to prominence after she signed with Rowdy Records in 1993 and released her debut album, Miss Thang, two years later. She followed it with a string of successful albums, including the global bestseller, The Boy Is Mine. Throughout her career, several of Monica's singles became number one hits on the pop and R&B charts, including Before You Walk Out of My Life, Don't Take It Personal, Just One of Them Days, Like This and Like That, The Boy Is Mine with Brandy, The First Night, Angel of Mine, So Gone, and Everything to Me. I really stay focused in all the things that I believed in and that I fought for um, for this record. Um, there were a lot of subject matters that they were really afraid of me to dis discuss or whatever, but I fought and I continued in what I believed in and this was the outcome. Monica's popularity was further enhanced by her roles in television series such as Living Single, Felicity, American Dreams, and films including Boys and Girls, Love Song, and Pastor Brown. A contributor to the NBC talent show The Voice in 2008, she appeared in the Peachtree TV reality show special Monica the Single, which tracked the recording of the song Still Standing, along with her personal life, and resulted in her own highly rated BET series Monica Still Standing. Monica is one of the most successful urban R&B female vocalists to begin a career in the mid to late 90s. A four-time nominee, she won a Grammy Award for Best R&B Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocals for her contribution to The Boy Is Mine alongside Brandy. I talked a lot about real life issues. I talked about um, having faith and understanding that you can make it through anything if you truly believe. And I think that's what this whole record was about. And I'm just so thankful to God that it connected with the people because that's who it was really for. I had gone through a lot and I just want to say that you can make it through if you really, really believe. And has been the recipient of one Billboard Music Award, one BET Award, and two BMI Pop Awards. Since popping on the scene, Monica has continued to produce music that adds to the soundtrack of our lives. In 2018, Monica introduced her nonprofit organization, the Be Human Foundation, in connection with her ballad, Be Human. The same month, she appeared on the seventh season of the VH1 reality series, T.I. and Tiny, The Family Hustle previewing music from her ninth studio album, Trenches. The release of Trenches was connected with Monica and Brandy's appearances on the successfully popular webcast battle series, Versus, shot on location at Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta, noting a record attendance of 1.2 million people who tuned in for the battle. The star power doesn't end with Monica. Writing hit songs and being a successful record executive runs in her family. As we discovered, her cousin is none other than Ludacris. After forming his own label, Disturbing the Peace, in the late 1990s, Ludacris later signed with Def Jam South and will go on to become one of the first Dirty South rappers to achieve mainstream stardom. We are celebrating just being in Los Angeles, of course, the BET Awards that I'm nominated for, and just having a good time. We just wanted to bring just take advantage of so many celebrities being in one city at the time. So that's all. We're just here having a good time. Ludacris has won an MTV Video Music Award and three Grammy Awards. Luda began rapping at the tender age of nine when he moved to Atlanta where his musical journey took off. Loving music so much, he made a name as a popular DJ. He independently released his first album, Incognito, in 1999 to local success, but achieved national attention the following year when the album was repackaged and re-released as his major label debut, back for the first time. Luda didn't stop at music. He set his sights on the lights, camera, and action of Hollywood. Ludacris is best known for his role as Tage Parker in the Fast and Furious film series. His other notable roles include Crash in 2004, Gamer in 2009, and New Year's Eve in 2011. 
For his performance in the ensemble of Crash, Ludacris was co-awarded a Screen Actors Guild Award and a Critics' Choice Award for Best Cast. Most recently, it was announced that Ludacris' new children's animated series, Karma's World, would premiere. Karma's World was created and produced by Ludacris, alongside Karma's World Entertainment and Nine Story Media Group in honor of his daughter, Karma. It turns out artistic talent and creative abilities really do run in the family. These stars will never have to worry about being the only celebrity at the family reunion. <laughs>